Now let's understand that when two quantities are related, then their rates are also related. Now here is an example to demonstrate that. It is related to rate of change of area of circle. A stone is dropped into a lake and waves move in circles at a speed of 5 centimeters per second. How fast is the enclosed area changing when the radius is 5 centimeters, right? So when the stone is dropped, you get these ripples, right, going away. So these ripples move outwards. Now the question is, how fast is the enclosed area changing when the radius is 5 centimeters? So every circle forms an area and as the radius increases, area increases, correct? So as the radius increases, the enclosed area increases. So the question is, how fast is the enclosed area changing when the radius is 5 centimeters, right? And we already given that the wave moves in circles at a speed of 5 centimeters per second. So the outward movement of the wave, which we can say change in radius, is 5 centimeters per second, right? So let's consider r to be the radius at an instance of time. In that case, area will be how much? So area will be pi r square, correct? And we want to find out what is the rate of change of area with time. And what are we given? We are given rate of change of radius with time, which is 5 centimeters per second. So this is 5 centimeters per second. So that is the question, right? And when do we want to find the rate of change of area? This is when radius is 5 centimeters. That means we want to find dA dt when r equals to 5 centimeter. So that is the question before us. So it's good to understand and visualize the situation and then do the needful. So to find this, we can find, we can differentiate both sides of this equality with respect to time. So we get dA over dt equals to 2 pi r times dr dt, right? Derivative of radius with respect to time. Now since we want to find what is the change in area when radius is 5, we can also place the value of r here as 5 and dr dt as 5 centimeters per second and get our answer. So we get dA over dt equals to 2 pi r is 5 and dr dt at that instance of time is also 5. r is 5 centimeters and dr dt is 5 centimeters per second times 5. This is when we're trying to say at r equals to 5 centimeters, right? So this is equals to 10. Okay, so I have to put r 5 here also. So r is 5 for me. So 5 here. 2 pi r dr dt. So this is for 5 for r and this 5 is for dr dt. So we get 10 times 5 is 50 pi and the units will be centimeter square per second. Correct? So that becomes that is the answer for this particular question, right? I hope you understand how we got this. So dA dt, when r equals to 5 centimeters, is 2 pi 5 centimeters times dr dt, which is 5 centimeters per second. Let me include units here. So that is, here the unit is centimeter, and here it is centimeter per second. So we get centimeter square per second as our answer, right? So we get... So the answer is, how fast is the enclosed area changing when the radius is 5 cm? Enclosed area is changing at the rate of 50 pi cm square per second when radius is 5 cm, right? So I'm not finding, these are the exact answers, I'm not writing their decimal values. So if required, sometimes it could be round your answer to one decimal place. In that case, you can put pi as 3.14 and get your answer. Okay. Thank you.